Well, hello everyone. It's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this is my first sales report of my Etsy sales. And this is the week of Thanksgiving. It's like the whole Black Friday thing. I've got quite a bit of sales to go through, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them. So we'll get right on ahead. And this is the first item that sold, and it is Corel plates. This was, these are very nice plates. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but it was not more than $5. And I sold them for about, I wish it had the price on here. It was about $30 that I sold these for. Uh, the shipping weight is kind of heavy, but um, it's okay. It came to about 10 pounds. <laughs> It took a bit to wrap them as well, but uh, they're really cool with the flowers and the floral on here. It's very neat. Okay, the next one are these fun um, honeycomb type decorations. And there's a pair of these right here. I sold them as a set and they were about $9.95. And they're really neat. Like that. Shipping was pretty easy on these. Uh, went first class, so it was quick to get them out. Okay, the next item is this really cool retro fondue pot. It's an electric one, and it even comes with fondue forks. It's in really great shape. That It hardly looked used. It has more of a Teflon look inside, so it's probably um, late 70s, early 80s, but then the... Um, I just think this is really cool. You could put the fondue forks right in there like that. Um, this item sold for around 30 or high 20s, somewhere in there. It, and it sat for a while, but I had a feeling that things like this would be selling later on in quarter four anyway because of all of the parties that people like to have for, you know, the holidays. Okay, the next item I've had this for a while and I felt really strongly about them when I first bought them. I thought that they would sell pretty quickly because I like them a lot, but they're the sugared fruit. It's, they're little clear beads and they're just, you know, attached on there like that. And they're so neat. I think I paid a dollar for them at an auction and I, they finally sold for about $15, but I originally thought these would go for like 25 but you know, that's all right. Next item, just a simple vegetable peeler, potato peeler type thing. And then it even has right in here, um, a spot to cut your, I guess, beans. Um, I have a lot of things like this, but I don't have too many with the little cutter on the end. Um, but it's a cool little piece and it sold for, I wanna say about $7. Okay, the next item, this is really cool. This is an RCA Victor salt and pepper shaker that I had not really seen. I don't, you don't see this configuration very much online. I've looked them up um, and I did not see one just like it. So I priced it around $50 and it did set for a while, but because of the RCA brand name and it had the box, I figured that, you know, it was worth waiting around for. And was very happy to see when it did sell. Um, but it's just a really cool piece. It's all plastic and it has the phonograph and the skipper, the dog. No, nipper, the dog, <laughs> not skipper. All right. And the next item is another salt and pepper shaker set. This time it's a old style TV and I've sold probably about three of these now. I find them pretty easily, uh, considering, but this one has the box, which is really cool. And it's in white or the cream color. I usually see them in brown uh, and it even had a little damage on it. Maybe that's why it took so long to sell this one. Very neat. And you, so you turn the style here and then these raise up. Okay. And th actually this sold for around $24. Next item is this retro trash can waste bin. 
it's all metal, has a metal, um, has a metal stand. And then it just sits in there and it's floral and it's really cool. It kind of has a Hollywood Regency style to it. And it sold for about 20. Next up is a Campbell Soup advertisement. I bought a whole lot of these at one point from a local flea market thinking that I could sell them pretty quickly and they've been trickling out slowly. Um, funnily enough, this was sold to someone who had the last name of Campbell. So I can see now why she bought it, but it's cool. Um, I think I overestimated the amount of advertising would, that would sell. So it, it's one of those things that I probably won't be so antsy to buy again. Next item is ET glasses, which um, I'm, I sell them pretty quickly. So anytime I do find these, I will, and that they're a good price, I'll pick them up. Um, this one sold for, I think around, it's either 10 or $12 and I can pick them up. I will pick them up if they're around $2 or less. Um, and they have, I think about four different styles, if my memory is correct. And I sold two of these to the same person, which is good. And then I sold this one to another person <laughs> right after that. And then this is this other style here. All right, next, Pillsbury Doughboy and the Cupcake. This is not a, an item that's too old, um, but I figured that there's a lot of collectors out there, so I took a chance just to go ahead and list it. Oh, that would be the cuckoo clock. Okay. And I have a whole box of these. They are um, pop-up cards, Christmas cards from the 60s. And they're really cool. And I'm just going to pan through here. I've got so many of these to sell. But I paid up for them because I thought they were really neat. So I, I did spend some extra time taking photos because I would have to look at this listing for so long. My listings usually are not this um, choreographed or well thought out. All right, next up is this little wooden bowl, which I will not buy again because it's, you know, it's a little too boring, honestly. It took a long time to sell this. It is neat, it's mid-century, but it didn't really have a whole lot going for it otherwise, and it's kind of small in size. It did finally sell for about $8, but... Um, you can actually see how old this is based on my old backdrop and my old peel and stick tiles. I'm not going to look at that. Next. This is a really cool um, dip, chip and dip bowl set that I've had for a while. And it's a heavier piece. So um, I'm glad that it finally sold. It takes up a good amount of space on a shelf for storing it. I probably, again, will not buy these things so unless they're really cheap because it did take a while to sell, but it, it just has really great coloring and it's very cool from the sixties. It's another one of those things that the par um, parties are coming up and everyone's needing pieces like this for their food. So I'm not too surprised it took this long to sell. This I've had a long time as well. So it's, it's always nice to sell something that I've, I've had for a long time. And I start to, the longer I have it, the more I'm like, well, I don't think this is going to sell. Uh, I made a mistake. And, and something like this, I had listed it for $125. That was the lowest price that I had on it. I started with, I think, $195. And that's a lot, in my opinion. But it's hard to find a really nice rainbow chevron afghan for a queen size bed. So just because of supply and demand, I was able to get, you know, a little over a hundred dollars for this and I did not pay very much. And I think my memory, I think I paid $5 or less for this, but I was so happy to see it go to someone who's actually going to use it because it was just sitting in a bin waiting. All right. And then I, I sell, I sell these phones left and right. 
you know, quarter three was not too strong on selling these. I did sell a lot uh, quarter two, but I've been, this, this one took a while to sell. This is an updated plug, so it's ready to be used. It has the modern jack on it. Um, it's not the best as far as the, um, the, um, how it looks. There's a little, you know, scrape here and whatnot, but it's a good phone regardless. Um, so it sold. I think I had 50, around 50 or $60 on it. And I can usually pick these up for under 10, but they do require a lot of cleaning um, most of the time. Another salt and pepper shaker. This one is a cool mixer. Um, it's modeled after, you know, 50s or 60s style um, Hamilton Beach type mixer. And it's really neat because it moves the, this, you know, this comes up, the bowl comes out. Um, and I've had this one for a few months and it sold for about 20 or $25. This is a corkscrew made af out of a root of a grapevine. I've sold two, two of these before, all for about $12 a piece. And this one finally also sold. Um, there, it's just a great gift idea for someone who drinks wine or it's just one of those quick things, small things you can buy someone. So I will continue to pick these up if I find them. They're just really unique. You don't see these all too often. Here's a cool item. It's a jello mold and you can make little tiny jello beans out of them. I tried it. Um, I got it home. I paid <laughs> 10 cents for this at a yard sale and I uh, just about had a fit with trying to get the jello out of there that I said, screw it, and I'm just going to sell it. So I think I sold it for about $5. Another easy item to ship. It just went in a little poly bag with some bubble wrap and a cardboard, and out the door it went. Next up is a Tupperware strainer. And I've had this for a while. It has all these great attachments for it. It's a strainer, a grater, a colander, all in one, and I sold it for about $20. Last but not least is a great Pyrex pink bowl. And it's just, you know, a standard run-of-the-mill, double-handled flamingo pink bowl. And this one sold for, I want to say, about, I think, 15 or 20, somewhere in there. And I actually paid a dollar for this at an auction because I guess no one was paying attention. But pink is a popular color that I do like to pick up when I see it because... Um, a lot of people like to collect the pink and they collect the turquoise colorings. Um, so I will pick those up when I can. Okay. So that is all of the sales that I had for Thanksgiving week and Black Friday. And I think it was a pretty good week. This one, yeah, this one sold on the 24th. I was going in reverse order. So It'll be neat to see um, how my orders pick up for the month of December, but that would be the end of this video. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.